Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday, May 2nd. This is going to be a full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Watch the remaining of the reading. Um, if you're interested in scheduling a private reading, you know how to uh, access my scheduling link. Also, I'm still doing the $50 one subject reading. You have to email me for that. Okay. So, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael. Please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action towards myself or the viewer. I'm going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and the ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. I'm already seeing orbs, guys, so. Wow. Unfinished symphony. This is coming out because of Mercury retrograde. People are going through their karma. They're facing the truth. Unfinished symphony. This is the karmic partner from your past that's feeling really abandoned or rejected. You are embracing the energy of peace. You've put in the work toward healing, and now you're flexible. You're flexible with God, the angels and saints, the universe, okay? Underneath that is blessed. You did the work. You put the hard work in, and now someone from your past is waking up. So this has been coming out. So let's see, I want to get the energy surrounding the collective. This is Alchemy Rising 888. You can find it on Etsy. What is the energy surrounding the collective? You have the key. You can unlock whatever it is you desire. This is the key to manifestation. This is transformative. This is you. Um, introspection this is you reflecting on things from the past and learning what you need to learn and then we have nurture you're nurturing your mind body and spirit as well as other people and you're receiving your good karma with judgment here wow they said continue to be optimistic because you have fortune here great fortune is headed your way You have enlightenment and renewal. Being able to look back at the past after this newfound knowledge that you have and being able to look back with love, compassion, and forgiveness and releasing your past, okay? One more. Direction. You know which way to go. You're being guided on your path. You're in a high vibration with frequency here. You're tapped in. Okay. So... Let's pull from the tarot and see what comes out, guys. Let's just clarify these cards. Okay. Please clarify Unfinished Symphony. anxiety, unable to sleep. You put an end to it when you closed out the cycle with the past karmic person. And now you are headed toward generational wealth. With the Ten of Pentacles, you're building generational wealth. Yeah, you know, somebody left you out in the cold. Somebody really wanted you trapped in your mind, but it didn't work. With the Five of Wands in reverse, you separated yourself from chaos and conflict. Yeah, you found balance and headed in a new direction with the fool. Okay, please clarify orphan. Orphan. So this is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. King of Cups doesn't have to be that sign, but this is someone that has love for you now, and they're blocked. You've blocked them out of your life. Um, this is someone coming out in a player energy, Knight of Wands, and wanting to send a message. Orphaned. One more. Now they want to put in the work, but you're not interested. With the Four of Cups reversed, you don't care if you're a missed opportunity. They had plenty of opportunity to make it right, and you're not interested. Okay, please clarify peace. You find peace in a new partnership. 
Wow, wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so <sighs> you have a King of Pentacles here. This is your divine match. Look at this, King to the Queen of Pentacles. This is the same cards that came out yesterday, I believe. You have the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Aries, Leo, Sag. But I feel like this is someone wanting to come in, speak the truth. They want to come in, but you've already disconnected it, and God has brought you another soulmate. That's what I'm getting. Because this other person in the past, they were a deceiver. You took your power back and leveled up to the Empress, so you're not interested. You're finding peace in a new relationship. Okay. Chop wood. You putting in the work on yourself, healing from the past, releasing the past, has called in a twin flame soulmate union. You've healed from heartbreak. Now your heart is open and ready to love again. You put in the work. This is a wish fulfillment. It's a wish fulfillment that leads to victory. This new partner, this new soulmate that's coming in. Soulmate. Thank you, Spirit. It's um, going to bring a lot of peace. It is your match. So please clarify flexible. 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 Okay. So I heard be flexible on how and what your expectations are on this person when they come in. What they, they may not be your, your typical type, but they're an emperor. Look. This love emotional offer is coming in and it's coming in pretty quick, but they're saying be flexible with how this emperor presents themselves to you. Maybe they come in as a friend. Maybe you meet them as a coworker and over time you get to know them and that's not someone you would expect to be in a relationship with, but this is your destined partner. So being flexible, being open to how you're going to meet this person. Okay. You've become more enlightened and your past person that wanted to win at all costs now wants to come in and have a reunion, which just keeps coming out. They want you to let your guard down, but spirit saying you need to move on. This person hasn't done the work. They haven't done the work. That's why they were replaced by someone new. They're under God's judgment. So they just want you to move on because a new passionate beginning is here for you. This is a gift from God. You are this lady of luxury. You needed to learn to stand alone, proud and confident, self-sufficient. You needed to learn your own value and worth. Someone tried to completely end you, your self-confidence, your self-worth, your identity. They, they wanted to destroy you and... Mm. This was a karmic partner that refused to change. They refuse. They refuse to put in the work. The truth is out. The truth is exposed. And justice is being served for someone that tried to use manipulation or magic against a high priestess who will be victorious. Someone that's very tapped in, connected to God. Wow. Yep, you're moving on to peace. A happy home, a happy life, emotional fulfillment. You're in your power. You are pursuing your passionate, creative endeavors, and you're helping your community. And a new cycle is beginning. One where you're not afraid to speak the truth. One where you're not afraid to cut people out. Because now, you're guided by God. Wow. That's awesome. All right. Let's do the Cancerian Oracle deck and see what comes out. So, you guys, if you haven't met your match, you have a new match coming. King to the Queen of Pentacles. They could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placements, or just someone that matches your energy. What does a collective need to know? We have alone time. Self-care, enjoy peace, and, and recharge. Having more fun. And we having more fun. And we got... Stop overthinking. You went through an awakening, and they're going to ask you to step out of your comfort zone, okay? You took lemons and turned them into lemonade, and happiness and success is yours. It's time to move on. Okay, guys, I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.